Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. Alright guys, I'm going to share this uh, article with you in the description below. So, m many of us already know that T-Mobile has made changes to their auto pay system and how this works. Uh, earlier this year, we were all notified that you know T-Mobile will not be accepting credit card as payment for auto pay anymore. That you would either have to use a debit card or bank account. Alright, so looks like this took place back in May. Many of us have already made the adjustments. There's a number of people that may not have even been aware of this. So apparently T-Mobile says from May, I think it was May 18th on, um, that they would give you a grace period, okay, um, of like about a month. So if you were new, I guess if you, if you were just joining, uh, you would get a one month where you can, you know, not have to worry about it. But then, you know, by June 18th, you'll have to make the adjustment. So that's coming up now, which is why I guess this article dropped. Also, uh, there's been an update, I guess, where um, T-Mobile is now starting to send texts and emails informing customers about the auto pay changes. Um, so they're saying that, I guess, uh, by July 17th, uh, we're making changes to the payment methods that qualify for auto, di auto pay discounts. To continue receiving the $40 auto pay discount, you must update your payment method to a debit card or bank account. And then it tells you what you need to do. You know, go to T-Mobile, your T-Mobile account, and update the payment method. So uh, my recommendation is, you know, use an account that you don't keep a lot of money in. Maybe even a bank that you don't use that often. If you have a second bank that you can just use. Either way, don't make it your primary checking account um, just for safety. You know, we'll, t mobiles not the most safest when it comes to customers' data information, unfortunately. So we don't, we don't want anybody losing any, anything, right? We don't want anybody having any problems. You know, if you get your direct deposit in there and whatnot, and, and that's all the money you have, um, you know, if something went wrong, um, you know, we don't want that, right? So I would say use a throwaway account, account that you don't really care about, and uh, then it should be fine. I mean, I think they're all going to be doing this eventually. So, you know, it's T-Mobile, and then I'm sure AT&T and Verizon are going to jump on it. I'm not sure if they're already doing it. I don't think so. Not yet. Maybe they are. I haven't heard anything about it, but I'm sure they'll follow because um, it's a good way for them to save some money. You know, the credit card fees are probably getting just too high for them, I guess. So there you have it. Uh, short article here. It's more of just an update and a reminder. So if any of you, you know, may have forgotten about it or if you're just not aware of it, hopefully this was useful to you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.